Hello on this Wednesday morning. I wanted to read you a story midway through the week like I usually do. And this is Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andrier, illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and roll. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all laugh. <laughs> Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Why I feel like such a clot? So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I am dancing! Gerald cried. <laughs> then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen! How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. So, Gerald felt like he could not dance. In fact, the whole book is called Giraffes Can't Dance, right? And all these people were saying, you can't dance, Gerald. You don't know what you're doing, Gerald. Well, we can dance and you can't. Mm -mm. But he just needed someone to talk some sense into him and say, Gerald, if you find the kind of music that you like, 
then you can do anything. You could do all kinds of dances, probably better than those other people, right? And he was like, you know what? I can, I can totally, totally do that. And he found the music that he liked, he played it in his head, and he danced it out, right? So, if you find something that you like to do, even amidst like stuff you don't like to do, so like, say you're doing some math homework and you really don't like math, but you find this one thing about math that you super duper like, like graphing or um, multiplying two numbers by one number, and you're like, I can do that pretty good. I think I like math now. If you find that one thing that you really like about it and that you can kind of relate to and that will make you like it more, then boom, light bulb on and you'd be really awesome at it. And everybody has that one thing that they're, maybe more than one thing, probably more than one thing, that they are really, really awesome at. And if they use that, if you use that, then you could be really, really awesome at a whole lot of things. Like Miss Shatswell is kind of awesome at music, or she likes to think so. And if I use that to like memorize stuff in my other classes, like math songs and um, English songs and social studies songs, then I could be really good at those things too, right? And your teachers and your parents and your friends and Miss Schatzel can help you with things like that and find out what you're really, really good at and then apply it to the other things that you really don't like. And then you can might maybe like those things too, just like Gerald. So Gerald just had to find what he really liked and apply it to what he wasn't very good at. And then it made him really, really good at that. So everybody can do that. Everybody can find something about something they don't like and turn it into something they do like by using the other stuff that they do like. I know that sounds crazy, but <laughs> find something you really like and see if you can apply that to something you don't really like. That will make you like it more, if that makes sense, okay? <laughs> so, if you need help, ask your parents, mom and dad, your family, your siblings, your teacher, Mr. Piggy or Miss Bennett, or Miss Harris, or Miss Baum, or Miss Shatswell, and we can totally help you find out what you're really, really good at, and help you be really, really good at everything else, okay? I will see you next week, okay? Love you guys. Bye.